March was National Athletic Trainers Month, and we thank our team of Oshner employees for the tireless work they put into taking care of our student-athletes. Our team discusses how the pandemic changed perception of athletic trainers and what their job truly entails. You feeling all right? Yeah. I mean, it's tight. I mean, I mean oh my God. There it is, good. Yeah. You could just say, see at the day. Our athletic trainers, um, we have many at many different colleges and high schools. Um, it's called the Athletic Training Outreach Program, ATOP. And so um, the athletic trainers are employed through Oshner, and then they are based on their skill set, desires, credentials, experience. They are placed at other um, facilities. And so University of New Orleans is one of our, uh, our big colleges. And so we have... Um, we have athletic trainers there that want to be in the college setting and are very good at what they do. And so with this relationship, um, they're able to have, as an athletic trainer, really full access to not only the primary care sports medicine team, but also our surgical team. Um, they can vouch for this is that I probably text with every one of them, um, probably daily, if not every other day. Um, whether it be keeping in touch about athlete, athletes who are recovering from an injury or making sure that if anyone is, is under care for anything, they're, they're getting what they need. Um, so the relationship that we have, again, through not only the employer, but also through the school is, is, is really big. Love doing athletic training. Uh, I don't know, it was like when I first went into college, it was just something about it, like the first class that I took and I realized that I could still be around athletes. And it's different when you're on the field than when you're watching it in the stands. When you're on the field with them, dugout, court, however you want to look at it, you feel their energy way more than you feel any, anything else from the stands. But then wanting to help people, that's been my biggest goal. So I just want to help you. I want to help you succeed and do the best that you can and just get back to it. And it sounds really grotesque, and I hate to say it like that. I thought about doing PT. I don't like when things are fixed. Like, I would rather be there when you break things. Like that initial moment when you get hurt, I want to see it, diagnose it, get it right, send it to the doctor, and then have that moment of like, ha yes, I was right. But the biggest part is when they can come back and you watch them in their first game and you know you've worked with that person to get them back. And then when they tell you like, thanks, I appreciate you for what you did. You're the only one who believed in me. That's been the biggest gratification and reason why I do my job. Um, I wouldn't be able to do what I can do and, and, and all of our other uh, doctors and surgeons wouldn't be able to do what they do without the help um, from our athletic training teams. I mean, they, they do a great job of keeping our athletes um, healthy, not just from an injury perspective, but also from an illness perspective and that they help with navigating the system, whether it be helping them get into me, helping them get tested. I mean, we know strep, flu, COVID, everything that they do, not just from an athletic perspective, covering sports and being there for injuries, but just an overall um, general global health um, for our, our student athletes. And, and again, we wouldn't be able to do what we do um, without their help. Um, again, they cover things on the sidelines, but especially this year, um, most if not all of them have been very involved with COVID, whether it be setting up testing, whether it be discussing quarantine, isolation, um, really helping to, to keep all their coaches, the parents, everyone in the loop. And they do a really nice job of, again, making sure that, that we're taking care of the athletes as best we can. And that, especially in a pandemic, we're helping to prevent spread to not only teammates, but other um, classmates and, and other teams in our conference. So when we're not on game days, you think most of our days probably start, depending on practices, you could start as early as 6 a.m. You think when they're doing weights, you may not leave until 8 p.m. that night because you're having a practice that's four or five hours and you're doing treatments afterwards and it's the paperwork, it's doctor's appointments, it's insurance claims, it's you're never just sitting down doing nothing. There's never a time where you're like, oh yeah, I have all this free time, I'm not doing anything. You're still doing Zoom calls now due to COVID or you're still doing different appointments, you're meeting with a coach, you're testing somebody for COVID if you wanna do that now because you have to and signing forms, it's just, it's nonstop. I work a 12 hour day every day and I haven't, like, if you think with baseball or track or you I mean if any sport right now, with because of COVID, everything's going, most of us haven't had a day off since New Year's and you just suck it up and you grind and that's just what you do because you know the gratification to watch somebody succeed and set a PR, win a game. 
you do it because you just want to see your athletes who realistically become your family because you spend more time with them than your own family. When they succeed, you feel like you're a part of that and that's what you go for. I think that we owe Oshner a thanks for allowing us to be a part of the healthcare system and be valued. Yes. Um, our team doctors, our orthopedic surgeons, even as far up as neurology, um, cardiology, all of our doctors that we deal with, that we send our athletes to, we have a personal relationship with. Mm -hmm. um, they talk to us like normal um, healthcare professionals. They don't talk down to us. They don't view us any differently or that we're just trainers or that we are athletic trainers and that we don't have a medical degree that values their opinion. So um, we're very thankful that not just orthopedically do we have a group of of doctors and um, advanced practitioners that, that value our opinion, but we also have the entire hospital system that now, with, the, with this pandemic, knows exactly who we are, what we do, the value that we bring, uh, the, the amount of community outreach that we have with our program to the high schools, to LA Fire, to um, the, rug, the rugby club teams. So um, I think we owe, you know, great gratitude to them for allowing us to showcase our skill set during COVID.